Hi everyone, today I wanted to show you how I restarted my uh, online radio station, CMF Radio. I restarted the radio yesterday because I wanted to offer a demo uh, of uh, the AI jingles uh, blended with some uh, AI music, so that's why I decided uh, to uh, resume uh, the streaming of uh, CMF Radio. I had actually started this radio during uh, the COVID lockdown in 2020. Originally, I was using the platform uh, radio.co, but then I, I stopped uh, the stream in, uh, in late 2020, so uh, four years ago. And now I'm back uh, on the airwaves, on the digital airwaves with CMF Radio. And uh, I wanted first to show you the end result, the output. So I have a special widget which you can use for free on uh, AIJingleMaker.com slash on air to create your own uh, on air sign, which uh, actually offers a nice uh, way to distribute your radio streams. So let's click on this button. And this is the stream of CMF Radio. I've got another way to access it uh, via the radio stations directory, which you can find at uh, aijinglemaker.com slash stations. And as you can see, yesterday I added CMF Radio. And you have the same stream here. Red buses on the road Said he never gets old So how did I create uh, this stream? As I told you, um, a few years ago, I started uh, using Radio.co, which is an amazing platform, by the way, if you want something in a box with all the bells and whistles uh, to create uh, your radio station. It's a very good solution. They are UK-based, very nice company, and they offer a light uh, plan at $350 uh, per year with uh, 500 uh, simultaneous listeners, 200 gigabyte of uh, media storage, and this is the total uh, listening hours you can get for that. And the stream is uh, 192 kbps, which is a, a decent quality. It's not the maximum 220 uh, kbps, but it's, uh, it's very nice. So that's radio.co. You also have on the market uh, radioking.com. As you can see, if we take the annual plan, uh, it starts with uh, discover at $140 per year uh, for um, 150 monthly listening hours, uh, which is uh, not as much as uh, with um, radio.co. Uh, uh, then we have one gigabyte of storage. Uh, that's 50% uh, that's, uh, of what you get uh, with the, the basic plan of, uh, of radio.co, but it's also a much uh, cheaper. Uh, you could maybe compare um, the star plan with the light plan uh, of uh, of radio.co and um, the quality of the stream is uh, 128 kbps so slightly less than uh, the light plan of radio.co if you want to have 192 kbps you've got to move to the pro plan you also have a product called radiolize at radiolize.com so if we take the yearly plan here, we've got $98 per year for five gigabytes of media storage, 128, um, 128 kbps of stream quality, 500 simultaneous listeners, uh, no bandwidth limit, and also all the tools uh, to uh, manage your radio station, uh, your playlist, your media, etc. So that's 98 a year. And I can already tell you that the solution that I found uh, costs $40 uh, per year. And we will maybe jump directly uh, to, um, to this solution. Uh, let's find it uh, here. So it's called yesstreaming.com. I will uh, leave a link in the description below. Yes Streaming. And one of their um, options, uh, which is the AzureCast server hosting, uh, with actually uh, IceCast as the streaming um, hosting solution under the hood, uh, will cost you $4 uh, dollar per month, but actually 40 if you pay um, on an annual basis, for 20 gigabyte of media storage. So that's more than the, uh, the basic plans of uh, Radio.co, uh, Radio King. 200 uh, listeners, unlimited bandwidth. And you have uh, the Azurecast open source platform to manage your media, 
to manage your playlist. But maybe we're moving a bit too far. So let's first have a look at uh, the way uh, you organize your workflow uh, on, a, on a radio station. So I created with TL Draw here uh, a little uh, drawing explaining all of that. So as you can see here, uh, you need uh, to uh, manage your radio station, obviously a media library, so uh, some files, mp3 files. If you want uh, to broadcast live, you will need a microphone. You will need a, a way to uh, broadcast the sound of your microphone and the music that you're mixing uh, to uh, the internet, to uh, the streaming server. And for that, you would uh, need uh, what we call an encoder. There are multiple solutions on the market. Two of them are open source, but and mix, a mix with 3x. If you are on the Mac, uh, Audio Hijack is pretty cool. It's a way to uh, create uh, audio pipelines, audio workflows on your Mac. So you can connect, for instance, your microphone uh, to the streaming server via the encoder, uh, via the module, which is uh, in uh, Audio Hijack. Then you've got the streaming server. The two solutions here, Icecast and Shoutcast, offer uh, open source options. So you can host uh, on your own server Icecast or Shoutcast, or you can uh, also use uh, the cloud uh, offering of Shoutcast. In terms of broadcast platform, if uh, you find a streaming uh, hosting provider for uh, Icecast or Shoutcast, sometimes they will offer you the CentovaCast broadcast platform. I will show you the CentovaCast broadcast platform. So that's the way it looks. It's a bit old school. Uh, I tried it on uh, one of the uh, streaming hosting providers, which is called DOSCast. To be honest with you, I made a mistake because I found this price, 199 a month. I said, wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, Icecast uh, hosting solution, so for uh, the streaming server part for just 199 a month. But there was a catch. The catch is that is uh, 32 uh, kbps uh, quality for the stream so basically it, it sounds really bad 32 uh, kbps so for 199 okay you don't pay much but you don't get much in terms of quality and also on those cast by default you get as the broadcast platform uh, centova cast and uh, Centova cast, uh, that's the way it looks. It's also pretty slow. So if you have a, a chance to find a platform where you can use the Azure cast, uh, I strongly recommend it. So Azure cast is an open source a web radio station in a box. It will offer you the same kind of features that you would find on uh, radio.co or radioking.com or, or radiolize.com, but that's an open source software. So you can decide to host it uh, on your own. Uh, so you will find a, a cloud provider like uh, the ones that they suggest here, like uh, Linode, DigitalOcean or Vulture. And then you can just deploy Azure Cast on your own on a server. There is also a catch. If you look at the pricing of uh, DigitalOcean, you will see that you get the basic droplet for $4 a month, 48 a year, but you don't get the storage with that. So you will need a storage solution. So you can use one of the storage solutions uh, provided by um, DigitalOcean, like Block Storage, for instance. The basic one comes at $10 per month for 100 gigabytes. So you get much more than what you would get from uh, Yes Streaming uh, in, in the basic plan, but you have to pay $10 a month for the block storage and then also for the droplet $4. If you decide to uh, host it on your own, uh, you've got to take that into account. Uh, that's a choice. But you can go straight away to yesstreaming.com, pick their uh, basic pack uh, for $4 per month, and then you will get 20 gigabytes of media storage and everything is uh, pre-configured for you. So once you sign up, the Azure Cast uh, platform will be ready uh, to be used and I will show you in a moment how it's working. You're good to go. So for $40 a year, you've got your own radio station. You could move to 320 kbps, which is uh, the top quality for MP3 files and that will be just $70 a year. So even if you move to the advanced solutions with the best quality at uh, 320 kbps, you will still pay less than all uh, the other options uh, that I showed you uh, previously. So let's go inside um, Azure Cast. You will have a look at uh, my own setup. 
So as you can see here uh, in uh, your profile, you will get uh, the link to the MP3 stream. And if you uh, if you want to sign up uh, for free uh, on the directory of the AI Jingle Makers, if you want to uh, create uh, your radio station, you just click here. And then here you will have uh, a field to enter your radio stream and you can test your stream here. has to be HTTPS, you save it and you will get access uh, directly to the radio station. You can play the stream here. So if we come back uh, to um, Azure Cast, that's where you find uh, the radio stream. You also have a public page uh, on uh, Azure Cast uh, where you will also have uh, the same uh, kind of player with the song history, with the possibility for your listeners to request songs. And uh, you can uh, change uh, the background uh, and, uh, and all uh, the other details. So if I play, I will have the same stream. Here we go. Uh, we also have uh, other uh, options like the Web DJ, which is a, a basic tool uh, to mix your own tracks and connect them to your radio station. So take over on uh, the, um, uh, the automatic uh, DJ uh, feature uh, that we're using by default on the platform. It's also very easy to manage your files. So if you go to media and music files, you will get access to all the music files that uh, you have uh, uploaded, including the jingles. And the way I organized my uh, program at the moment is uh, through two playlists. So if I go to playlist, I have the general rotation playlist, uh, which is uh, the basic uh, rotation of the songs. And I've got a jingle uh, playlist. So once every two songs, I will play one of the jingles, but both the jingles and the music files are in the music files. So uh, if uh, I take, for instance, this uh, jingle and I uh, check it, I can see it's in the jingles playlist. So the way you do it, you just add your files and then you go to your file and you assign the file to uh, one uh, of the playlist. It is as easy as that. Uh, as you can see, uh, I have uploaded 56 files since yesterday and I still have a long way to go uh, to use all of um, the storage capacity of the basic plan, 20, uh, 20 gigabytes. You can also connect uh, to your uh, uh, hosting platform through uh, SFTP, if you know how to use uh, SFTP, if you want to uh, bulk uh, upload uh, files through SFTP. So that's the way you manage uh, your files. Then if you go to live streaming, so you have the web DJ, which is uh, the basic uh, platform where you can connect your uh, microphone and then upload some files and play them like you would uh, uh, with a, a usual mixer. It's bare bone, but it does the job. But you can also add uh, streaming DJ accounts. So if you want to add a streamer, you have to give them a username and a password so that they can connect uh, to uh, your uh, streaming server and take over. So they will have the priority on uh, the automated playlist. You can also enforce uh, schedule time. So if you have a schedule of uh, DJs or, or streamers, you can enforce it. So they, they won't be able to uh, take over or connect outside of uh, their own uh, uh, time frames. So if you go on your profile, you will see here that you have an embed section. So you can click here and you can uh, modify the look and feel of this uh, embed, uh, like a dark one, a light one. And then you just copy this to your clipboard and you will paste it uh, in a HTML uh, a widget uh, on, uh, on your website. And, uh, and then the, the player will also be embedded on your website. So that's the way, uh, that's the way you do it. What else can I say about uh, Azure Cast? Maybe show you the reports uh, section. So if you go to the reports, you will see the station statistics with the songs that have been played. Uh, with you know uh, how they uh, perform uh, against each other, so depending on how you uh, playlist them uh, in your in your schedule, the listening time also uh, of the of the users. Uh, you can also see the countries which uh, played uh, your radio station. So I had some people from Canada, Chile, China, Spain, Finland, UK here, Ireland. So few uh, few countries already. 
You can go to the listeners tab to see how many people are listening at the moment and how many people have listened so far. So since yesterday, uh, 30 different listeners who have listened together for 21 hours, as you can see. And you can also, if you're playing copyright protected uh, music, you can also uh, generate a report uh, that you will be able to share uh, with uh, the, the copyright uh, authority. So in my case, I'm playing uh, AI generated music, so uh, it's purely royalty free. But if you need that, you just go there and you can uh, generate uh, your report. So that's basically what you can do with Azure Cast. So as I told you, uh, I used in the past uh, Radio.co and most of the features uh, that uh, I enjoyed in uh, Radio.co uh, I found them also uh, on the Azure Cast platform. I must say that for an open source software, it's pretty good. It's uh, pretty well designed. It's uh, it's very fast also. So if you want to upload your media, assign them to playlists, if you want to customize anything, it's very responsive, very, very fast. So I'm really happy with uh, this solution. Uh, which uh, which is offered by uh, yesstreaming.com uh, and as you saw the price is $40 a year so let's maybe uh, go back uh, to my uh, drawing here uh, to show you uh, what we uh, have covered together so i told you that uh, if you want uh, to uh, broadcast live you need your microphone uh, and also some uh, uh, some mixing desk maybe and your files obviously you can connect uh, to uh, an encoder and then through the encoder connect potentially as a as a DJ to Azure Cast or to Centova Cast or anything else or to Radio.co or Radio King or Radio Lice. You need uh, the streaming server which is embedded Icecast actually inside of uh, Azure Cast, so it's offered as a bundle by Yes Streaming. And uh, if you don't want to uh, self-host Azure Cast uh, on one of the uh, platforms that they uh, suggest uh, on their on their website, so uh, DigitalOcean, uh, Vulture, or Linode, you can use a solution, a one-stop shop solution like uh, ES Streaming, which is very affordable and uh, very nice experience, uh, very fast to sign up for a price which is super low, forty dollars a year. So that would be my strong recommendation if you want a, a basic uh, radio station in 2024. If you want to uh, listen to CMF radio, you can go to uh, aijinglemaker.com slash station, click here, and uh, you will get uh, the stream. So you will enjoy AI generated music and uh, AI generated jingles. And if you want your own AI jingles, you can go to aijinglemaker.com. There is a self-serve option for uh, spoken jingles. And if you want sung jingles, you can go to aijinglemaker.com slash sung jingles, where you can order your custom sung jingles. And I will create them uh, for you in, uh, in 24 hours. You've got some examples here of those uh, sung jingles, including the ones I created for WGXX. So if you are looking for sung jingles, go to aijinglemaker.com slash sung jingles. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to this channel, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.